Multiple storms and tornado warnings were pr present throughout the High Plains yesterday evening. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Kaylee Green. Maggie has the evening off. Luckily, storms which popped up throughout the region have now faded away, but many are discovering the damage that's left behind. KAMR Local Force Crystal Martinez has the story. It's topping our news tonight at 10. It started raining really bad here, and then we started hearing the hell hitting the house, and we knew it was a bad thing. For many in the Texas Panhandle, storms come with the territory. Residents like Anthony Walker prepared for the storm and hunkered down inside to let the rain pass. At about 10 o'clock, he came out to find that golf ball sized hail had damaged his car. And that's when we noticed the back was really damaged. So I have the dealer tags on it. And I was kind of sad because <laughs> I hadn't really got to enjoy it. After only two months, the car will be going through some serious repairs. Um, we've turned it into insurance, so we'll probably just see what they're going to do and probably get a new car. But they weren't the only victims of hail damage. Nina Parvin was celebrating a friend's birthday when the sirens went off. She stayed put and waited for it to pass. We came home and uh, drove up and immediately saw the back glass of the vehicle that was in the driveway it had been shattered. Parvin says there is also damage to her hot tub cover and camper, but says she is just happy no one was hurt. Uh, none of my family was, was injured or anything. It's just property, it can be replaced, but still puts a financial burden on you. So far, there have not been any reports of any injuries in last night's storm, but the pictures of property damage around the panhandle continue to roll in. One thing the residents I spoke to stressed was having insurance. They said that repairs from storms are costly and often unexpected. So they say it is better to have it and not need it just in case of incidents like hail damage. Live in studio, Crystal Martinez, KAMR, Local 4 News. Kaylee. Thank you, Crystal. Parvin says another reason she stayed safe during the storms, paying attention to weather warnings and staying put rather than driving through the storm.